When I was a child, I didn't realise that you could even be an artist, and you almost can't because hardly anyone can actually make a living as an artist. It's, I'm very lucky that I can, but it's very rare. It was always just something that I did, and I did passionately, and um, I did all the time, so I've always done it. And I think that my parents were very supportive, and, uh, and I guess, you know, I, I got sort of known at, at school, say, as someone who could draw. So I guess I was getting positive reinforcement from all of that. But it was also just something that, you know, you really feel a need to do. I mean, it has to be something you feel a need to do. If you're doing it for money, you're a fool. And if you're doing it for any other reason, why would you? So it really has to be something that you absolutely love and want to do all the time. It's a difficult thing being an artist or anything creative. You either have, you, you're after a well-paid part-time job, which is very hard to get. So you either have the time, because you don't have much of a job, but no money to buy materials or live, or you have the money, but no time. So it's very, very difficult if you're someone who is trying to support yourself to actually find that. Right through your life, you come to certain crossroads. You don't even know you're gonna get there, but you suddenly get to a crossroad and you go, oh, I've now got the option of going that way or that way. And you go that way. You never know what, have, what would have happened if you went the other way. There was a movie called Sliding Doors, which was all about, you know, what happens if. And it's like, you never know. You never know what would happen. And everything is chance. Everything is chance. You can't know what's going to happen next. I like that. Some people are freaked out by it. I think that's one of the reasons why people like religion. They like to have something where it's very clear what's supposed to happen and there's an order. I'm, I, I'm an atheist and I actually like the fact that it's chaos. So sometimes in life you think, <clears throat> if I do this, oh, that'll happen, then this, then da 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 da. Rarely, occasionally, but rarely. Usually you're looking that way and then some little weird thing you didn't even know about happens and you end up over there, which is actually really, really lovely. But there are times in your life, not very many, but there are times when you actually get to what's like crossroads where you've got very clear decisions, do I do this or do that? And that's when you need to say, what do I really, really want? So I thought maybe I could be one of them, I could be one of those teachers. So I, so I did a dip ed, which actually didn't, was really was a waste of time and didn't help me do that. But anyway, I did it, it was one year, it was really boring, whatever, but I did it. They, they said to me, um, if you would like, there's gonna be a job coming up next year, you could apply, which was like, that was very nice to be asked because this was a prestigious school and a lot of people would love that job. And I remember, I'm 23 at the time, and I remember it was one of those moments in life, walking out thinking, oh God, do I have to do this? Oh, is this what my life's going to be? Am I going to be working in there? I don't want to do that. Is that? And then I realised, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to apply. I mean, it's so dumb, but it was actually a moment. I'm young and I was, oh, okay, other people would love that, but they can have it. They have it. Enjoy. I don't want to do that and it's important to just say do I want yeah this is a wonderful opportunity but not for me for someone else it's fantastic but not for me and you just need to say no I know I'm lucky to have this and I could have money but so what you know like do I want to do that no one of my friends asked me a really really great question that you should ask yourself every few years which is like a child's question which is if you could do anything in the whole wide world that you actually, like not something really, really impossible, like go and walk on the moon, or, or, or I'm now gonna be a ballet dancer, but something that, you know, you could, you could do something. If you could do anything, what would you do? And it's interesting for you to really think about it truly, not what other people think you should do, what society thinks you should do, but what would you really, really like to do? And that's a good thing to say to yourself because you need to keep working towards that. And it changes too, it also changes. So whatever you decide you want uh, when you're 20, you might want forever, but you also might not want it by the time you're 23 or 26 or whatever. You change, you change, but it's like, what do I really want now? What would I really wish I was doing instead? And can I do it or either do it or at least move that way, you know, move more that way or have more of that in my life and less of 
the other things I have to do. If you possibly can, it's just, it's really important to do because even if you have a really, really long life, even if you're lucky, even if you know you're going to live to 105 and you're going to be really fit, it's still short. I know it doesn't sound like it's short, but it is short because what you don't want to do is to get to be we all want to get to be a really old person, but then when you are a really old person, you don't want to say, I had the opportunity to do that, or I could have done that, and I didn't. I think that's the worst thing you could possibly say. You know, okay, I never could, different. But I could have, I could have. If I'd worked hard, if I'd taken extra work on, or if I'd saved my money, or if I hadn't bought that car, I could have done this other thing. I wanted to do more, or whatever it is could have got the bus and I could have done this thing, you know.